What's up, y'all? Back at it once again. A Cold Skill Fun Day. And, um, I gotta get this off my chest. We gotta have a real talk about this one. You know what I mean? Power off. Um, much love to the ADOS movement. You know what I'm saying? About getting reparations. But, uh, which is a good movement. I ain't got nothing against it. You know, I'm, you know, do what you do. I think it's a political strategy, me personally. <laughs> I agree with some things that Umar Johnson said. I had a video about that. You know what I'm saying? I agree with some things that Umar Johnson said too. But use that as political strategy. But we got to talk about something real serious here though. You know what I'm saying? The 15th Amendment, the right to vote, right? I talked about this too in a couple of videos. But this is solely video dedicated to this subject. Now follow me. The 15th Amendment, 1870, it gave us the right to vote. You feel me? So if that's in the Constitution, that's in the 15th Amendment, then why there's a voting right in 1965? You feel me? And this act got to be legislated, acted on every time. So when Lyndon Baines Johnson signed it, it had to be do it again, done again 10 years. Then 10 years came past and Nixon signed it. Then um, at the Nixon sign, I think um, either Nixon or Ford signed it. Then after that, I know Reagan signed it. You know what I'm saying? Then George W. Bush was the last one to sign the Senate for another 25 years. So, if your right to vote is peppercated off of that, what was the use of the Constitution? Seriously, think about what I'm saying. Every 25 years now, because that's how it's going, so, so that whoever was trying to make eight years, that he's still president, you know, to make it through another four, you know what I'm saying, he's still president, then that next president has the right to sign off of whether black people can vote or not. Think about what I'm saying. Y'all can look at what I said, too, about that voting stuff. You know what I mean? That stuff is real. The 15th Amendment came out in 1870, which, by the way, if you really, really want to do real history, which most people don't talk about, you know what I'm saying, about that era of Reconstruction, we really didn't when you want that vote, really. You feel me? The vote was the last thing they gave us. Like, you know, they just like, huh, just take this. Real talk, look at the history book back there, you know what I'm saying? The vote was one of the things that said, huh, to take that. It's a fallback measure to take that. You know what I'm saying? Because we about to leave the South pretty soon, through, you know, because we just tired of dealing with the subject. You know, we wiping our hands clean. Y'all got the vote. You know, here y'all go. Which did they even want to give us, you know, earn give us that? The real thing back then was about land again in our own country. You know what I'm saying? It's all about having our own nation. You feel me? Having our own land. That's where 40 acres of the meal come from. You know what I'm saying? That was one dick, a number one, uno. Alley target was the 40 acres in the mill through the second confiscation act. But instead, we parlay, which Martin Delaney told us not to do, and Martin Delaney definitely told us not to do that, was not accept the vote. Okay, so we got the vote in 1860, 1870, excuse me. All right, now what? Then what happened? Your vote still got, it's called judicial notification. They still notified the vote. You understand? So the, when it push come to shove, and that should be an awareness for everybody, everybody, every Af you know what I'm saying, ADOS or whatever you want to, you know, black, African-American, whatever you want to call yourself, that they even nullify their own constitution to stop black people from voting. You feel me? Even prior to 1860, when blacks weren't even voting in the North. It was, it was fruity rules and fruity laws around that, just, you know what I'm saying, to have black people voting in the North. So let's get back to this. So, so they had they notified their own constitution, and there was really no black vote, you know what I'm saying, per se, after that. Then in 1965, the Voting Rights Act, you know, if it was already in the constitution, well, there's no need for no voting rights. But they passed it, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, it had a 10-year extension. Then from there, it had another one. And like I said before, you know, George W. Bush signed a line on 2006, February. You know, Black History Month during that time. We better wake up, man. We ain't really got a right to like that, you know. Are you really a citizen? You know, it'll bring you back down to that stuff. You know, if you really follow that procedure I just said about the 1870 voting rights, you know, 1870 with the 15th Amendment and the Voting Rights Act of 18, um, 1965, and how they got to renew it and all that stuff the last time being in 2006. Then, go look at Dred Scott. The Dred Scott case. 
what does it say? Does a white man has a right to, you know, does he have the right to, what do you say? What did I have to go? Does he have the right to whatever, get the black man right? Say he think not. This is Robert, Robert, Roger B. Taney. You know what I'm saying? It was the Supreme Court justice then. So they give and take rights away whenever they want to, whenever they feel like it. When they feel like you know you give it to them, you know, deserve it. And that's one of the main things about the ADOS movement, you know what I'm saying? We're going to ask this motherfucker again for some more shit, or you owe us money. You know what I'm saying? So what happens in the street? Somebody owe you money. What do you do? You gonna get? You can turn a legal way and get little more lawyers and all type of stuff. Like, yeah, she can do that too. But most motherfuckers, or maybe people out there saying, no, I know. Well, after a while, we just give said, fuck it. Just go in inside your head. You know? So you never thought of it like that. Same thing with the voting thing. That's why they try to push us to vote all the time to say the show is still viable with us. You know, rock the vote and things of that nature. To show that shit is still viable unto the black population and stuff. Which was, like I said before, if you read the history book back then, it, you know, back in Reconstruction, it was all about the land. It was about nation getting the land of our own. The vote was something they just, you know, kicked down as a last resort. You know what I'm saying? Read what Thaddeus Stevens say about it. You know, Senator from Massachusetts. I think it was Senator from Massachusetts. But read what he say about it. We got to get us to protect the Negro. You know what I'm saying? But prior to all that, everything was about, well, we want our own land. Give us our own land. Look up Tonus Campbell. Tunis Campbell, one of the people that don't get much respect in them and um, much talk about. You know what I'm saying? The black community. He had it. He had his own nation over here. You know what I'm saying? From Article, you know, General Order 15, built it up, which is was just known about it built up and everything like that. The U.S. Army couldn't get him out of there. You know, they, they sent the white soldiers to get him up out of there, because he had his own militia and everything like that of black people. Supreme Court, you know what I'm saying? Justice, and he was the president. The white army couldn't get him up out of there, Union Army. So they had to send black soldiers in there who they was not going to shoot on to get him up out of there. And that's what happened. You know, this stuff, you know, is like a watered down of amazement and stuff like that. You know. So you got to look, kind of look at this stuff. This is like the new civil. What, what are we going to do? We really ain't got the vote. We got to play a hat on that. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, the next president after Trump, if he may do another four can take the vote away from you. You know? It got renewed every time. It can take the vote away from you. What are you? You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing with Dred Scott, like I said before. The white man has no laws that the black, um, the black man is, the, the black man has no rights that the white man is bound to respect. So he's showing you he doesn't even respect you. So you asked if we ain't even solved that problem yet, how are you going to get the, you know, the reparations? I'm with you, though. You know, hey, keep on going. I'm just trying to say we got to think about it. You know what I'm saying? We've been politically the jackasses of these people for a long-ass time. And like I said before, I'm Martin Delaney. And I highly advise people to start reading Martin Delaney. He told us. He told us. Don't get into these people's politics like that. You know, and the most recent one I talk about it is Dr. Khalid Muhammad, who said better, the politics of the white man is insipid. You got your own shit here. Look at your shit. I mean, just using the stat that the people from the ADOS use, you know what I'm saying? We only got $2 and $0 in liquid assets. But we spend about a trillion. We spend about a trillion with these people. You know what I'm saying? So why people, which, which is a good thing that they were all glad they brought the ass that out. You know what I'm saying? That you spend about, well, we ain't got no liquid assets. But look how much you spend with these people. If we, if we kept all our money, our gross GDP, we'd be like, what in the what? The 10th or 14th largest nation, you know what I'm saying? We'd be in the top 15, a nation built, just African Americans over here, or ADOS over here. You know what I'm saying? So things you can control of, you know, right now that we should be taking care of. Remember, when does our spending happen? We can't spend like that. Fuck them clothes. We, we need to go back to where grandma used to sew clothes. You know what I'm saying? We need to go back to that. Just start sewing our own fits and wears. You know what I mean? Dr. John Henry Clark said I made a more powerful person, you know? I won't wear no clothes my people don't make. I won't drive no car my people don't create. We got to get on stuff like that. We're going to have to reverse to the cycle. You know what I'm saying? Because if we did get the, let's say we did get the reparation money, then what? 
the money gonna flood back to him because we ain't got no no economic infrastructure to keep it solid within ourselves. You can't trust the church. All these churches around here, man. Psh, man, my county alone got the largest, got the most churches in the state of Michigan. Poverty rampant, rampant. <laughs> churches everywhere. You know what I'm saying? All this tax free hustling. But yeah, we gotta look at that though. You know what I'm saying? Judicial nullification. Economic nullification. We had to get out of these habits. Um, back to once again with the economic nullification though, when I was saying about the trillion dollars and stuff, how we spend, 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 spend. If you read Du Bois's The Soul of Black Folks, and he talks about um in his book, in that book he talked about how we was putting money to the Freedom Bank. You know what I'm saying? You know, putting money in there. That's all we do. We take our money, hurry, but just save it. We would save everything. Bank, 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 bank. Then one day, up out the blue, the Freedom Bank became insolvent. You know, like how they did all these banks around here in 2008? It became like that. Du Bois said that, be, hey, that incident right there set the black community back 50 years because it knocked off thrift in the black community. Real talk. That's what happened. You know what I'm saying? Once they did that, and the money just took it away like, oh, wait, it knocked off thrift in the black community because, well, that's what you started seeing, like, you know, like my grandma who grew up in the Great Depression, that's what you started seeing that shoebox money. You know what I'm saying? The duffel bag boy money. You feel what I'm trying to say? We're not going to put our money in the banks and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Not, and we got to spend it so much because... Like Nas nah, said in the um, Hinted Colors, you know what I mean? It's just fleeting. It goes, you know what I'm saying? You never know. So you spend it like it's water instead of trying to use it to, to protect yourself and in investing yourself. You know? But we got to focus up, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Time is getting too short for that. And pretty soon, like the you know, Honorable Dr. Amos Wilson said, you know, all these other people, these other nations, you know, Races or whatever, I call them nations. You know, they're going to be looking at us like we the problem. And we'll do this discombobulation that we under right now. They're just going to pick us off one by one. Bang, 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 bang. You know what I mean? Anyway, this is Koski of Fun Day. Peace. Have a good one and much love to y'all, man. And hey, thanks for subscribing to the channel, man. You no, know, the subscription rate be going up. You know what I'm saying? Much love to that. I'm glad people are enjoying the, the history videos, you know what I mean? And I appreciate y'all, man. Much love. Have a good one.